Hey kids, with summertime approaching, are you thinking about running a lemonade stand? Well, better check with law enforcement first. It looks like idiocy is indeed contagious. Remember how a couple of summers ago a bylaw officer in Ottawa took it upon himself to shut down a lemonade stand being run by Eliza and Adela Andrews, ages seven and five. The reason for the closure, those sisters just didn't have the necessary paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. I'm not kidding, folks. And now this, just in from the city of Denver. A kid's lemonade stand runs afoul of Denver city codes and gets shut down. It's true, and their mother contacted us to share her story. It happened over the weekend in the Stapleton neighborhood. CBS4, Sean Boyd is there tonight, and Sean, no doubt this will have a lot of people shaking their heads. Yeah, Jim, you know, the city treats lemonade stands kind of like the guys down here who sell peanuts and sunflower seeds and water outside Coors Field. They're called food and drink peddlers by the city, and as such, they are required to buy insurance and a permit or license to operate in the city, or the city will shut them down, as some young entrepreneurs learned this past weekend. It was a beautiful weekend, beautiful weather, so we thought, why not have a lemonade stand? When Jennifer Knowles helped her son set up their first lemonade stand over the weekend, she thought it would be a lesson in entrepreneurship and charity. And so the boys decided they wanted to help a less fortunate child in another country. But they got an unexpected lesson, too. Someone complained about our lemonade stand. Turns out you need a permit to operate a lemonade stand in Denver. Yeah, a permit. A permit costing $125 U.S., by the way or more than half the proceeds those two youngsters had raised for charity. But in fairness, you know, I once spoke to a local bylaw officer who told me they absolutely hate carrying out any kind of war on kids, having fun or being entrepreneurs, but they're obligated to enforce the rules if somebody complains. So as always, it's some nosy Parker out there who somehow feels violated that kids are being kids? That a child wants to run a lemonade stand to make a few bucks or raise money for charity? That should be applauded, not condemned. Makes you wish these anonymous assassins would forget about lemonade and just stick to drinking Kool-Aid, the Reverend Jim Jones varietal, that is. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you may have heard The Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take The Rebel with you wherever you go.